Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. So I am doing another come to work with me. Um, unfortunately, it is just me this weekend. Rosie has had tonsillitis and she is away. So I am working by myself this weekend, Friday and Saturday. It is currently Friday and I'm about to head to work. It is 10 to 6, so I'm hoping to get there like just after 7 p.m. I'm gonna be working Friday, working Saturday by myself. Um, hopefully there's like a old rich man who decides to fall in love with me and give me his bank account because I don't like hustling by myself unfortunately I will do it I don't particularly enjoy it um, so yeah I will take you guys along with a ride with me and I will check in with you guys when I get to the vault on stage so I'm on $136 so not terrible for $9.17 just snuck off to the shower room to film a little bit because I haven't really been filming anything even though I've been like not busy all night so I did my five and my ten like I told you guys before I did get an hour shower booking which is really good with a couple so I got paid a little bit more for that which was nice I that literally was like at 12 o'clock so I didn't get a dance from like 9 till 12 I did nothing it was awful and then I did a stage set which I filmed the cash I made like 65 bucks off that and I made my other two stage sets, I made $30 on each. So that was pretty good. Um, I think I'm on like a bit under $600 at the moment and it's $235, so not terrible. Um, but yeah, it's been really quiet tonight and I'm like not thriving, but it's fine. Like I'm pretty good, like mental health wise, it's all good. Like everyone's been really nice. Um, yeah, so I will finish off the night, hopefully get a few more lap dances and I'll tell you guys how much I made. <laughs> So I just left the club, it is 10 past three. That was so crazy. Like last time I talked to you guys, I was on like maybe $500. I don't think I'd counted, right? And then I just got like five minute, five minute, five minute, 10 minutes, five minutes. I got like five bookings since I last updated. So that was really good. So I've worked out my commission and I made 588 in commission, which I'm really happy with. Um, and I don't know how much in tips. I got like a fat stack, but it's all like fives and tens. So it's not as much as I think it is, but I'm pretty sure I made over $700. So honestly, I'm pretty happy. I really worked probably eight to three. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. So seven hours, 700 bucks ish. Um, so yeah, 100 bucks an hour. So it's not too bad. I'm pretty sure a lot of the girls unfortunately didn't do too well. Um, they got like busy during uh, like after or like throughout the night, I guess. Um, yeah, but it was not too bad of a night overall. So I didn't really feel much. I felt kind of weird because there was always girls at the back and I didn't want to like intrude or like um, annoy anyone or like whatever. But yeah, it was a really strange vibe tonight. Like I really didn't do anything. I sat with the couple who booked me in the shower. I sat with them for an hour with no payment so that was kind of like not like me i'm um, sorry there's just someone walking behind me <laughs> um yeah it wasn't like me to be doing that i just locked my doors um yeah so that was not like me to be waiting and like sitting with someone for an hour because they had been like oh yeah we'll book you we'll book you and i was like look there's no one else here so i'm gonna like hedge my bets and i was very lucky they tipped me quite well on my stage set and then they booked me for the hour in the shower which was really nice very friendly very respectful i had a really really good time with them and then yeah, I had a fair share of like bad run-ins with a couple of groups of guys that were quite rude and like disrespectful and like trying to touch me and just like being kind of gross and that was like a bit disheartening but I was like, you know what, just keep going, keep going, it'll be fine and then the last like three or four dances, because I did a stage set, they all came and found me after the stage set and were like, hey, I want to take you for a dance and I was like, oh, okay. I was about to go home and I was walking out of the lap room and he's like, this one guy was like, oh, there you are, I've been looking for you all night, let's go for a dance. I was like, the fuck are you? <laughs> but he booked me so that was really nice. Um, yeah, so overall better than I expected much better than I expected um so yeah I'll go home I'll do a money count in the morning with like the cash update you guys on what I made and then I'll probably hopefully won't be awake until like 2 or 3 p.m I'm so tired now I have to drive all the way home yeah what is it 3 15 exactly so I'm gonna be home at like 4 30 which is gonna suck um but yeah I will keep you guys updated like I'll do the money count in the morning uh I do not want to do it when I get home and also side note when I go in the shower 
look at my oh you can't really see it so my eyeliner is not waterproof and it like transfers to the lid of my fucking eyeball so not cute but i will talk to you guys in the morning hopefully i don't die on the way home because i'm so tired i do have my pizza and my chips here to keep me company so see you guys in the morning good morning my chickens so it is currently 11:42. I woke up about 15 minutes ago and I have ordered burrito bar. I am super excited. I got like a California burrito chicken one, but it has like chips inside the burger. So I'm really fucking keen for that. So last night, money count. I actually apparently have no idea and can't track my own dances. I got sent through my commission report and it was actually $608 in commission. So better than it actually I thought. Now, I thought you guys would be interested to know Hold on, where is it? So, my dancer report. I had a dance at 7.30 and then 8.15 and then I did not have a dance until 11.46. That's three and a half hours. <laughs> I sat around doing nothing and I think I talked to that couple for a little bit, but like literally three and a half hours, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, three and a half hours, I did not get a dance. So it was very suspicious. I wasn't having a good time, but that's fine. And then, yeah, 11.30. And then, again, I got booked from midnight till 1. So that was the one-hour shower booking. And then it, I didn't get another dance till 2. The so 2, 2.30, 2.45, 2.55. So I kind of pushed out those last four in the end. But it was such a weird night. Um, yeah, so I made $608 in commission. And then I will count my tips for you now. So I'm, like, literally just lying in bed because I'm so tired. So I got 20, 30. Oops. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 165. So let's do some maths. So if I made 608 plus 165, cool. So $773 last night. So obviously I'm really happy with that because it was super dead and I feel like lap room wasn't really very full all night. I know some girls got fantasy bookings, which was awesome. I was very lucky to get mine. Um, yeah, so overall very happy with almost $800. I will aim again maybe for that tonight. I did get lucky with the shower booking, so I don't know. Mm, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, overall really happy with that. I'm gonna go eat my burrito and I'll check in with you guys soon. Hello my angels, it is 6.20 p.m. and I am just about to head to the club. It is Saturday night. This is my makeup and hair. I'm hoping my curls will fall out because I just realized I didn't pack my brush but I can't be bothered going back inside to get it. I have not put my lipstick on yet because I am planning on getting a McChicken on the way with cheese and a hash brown. As you guys know, it is my favorite thing to eat. So I'm super excited for that. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. I'm hoping, I don't know, maybe for another $800 tonight. Hopefully, hopefully it's busier than last night. As I said before, it was super cool. Oh my God, someone is watching me film. This is so embarrassing to the um, Yeah, so hopefully it's a little bit busier than last night. Um, I'm so fucking tired and I don't want to drive to Toowoomba. This is so embarrassing. I don't, I don't want to drive, but I'm so fucking tired and I need to go and make some money because I'm poor. So I will obviously keep you guys updated as usual. Yeah, like I said, I will try and film a little bit more than I did yesterday because I felt really awkward because like there were so many girls at the back that all the times so I couldn't really film. Um, yeah, so I'll try and do a little bit more for you guys and I will see you when I get there. Am I a joke to you? Hi, can I please get a large McChicken meal with an orange juice? Um, can I please add cheese and a hash brown onto the burger? Yeah. That's all, thank you. Lovely, that one comes to 1565 Thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited. Hey, how are you going? Good, thanks. 1565. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. So 
this was my first stage set. It is not focusing, but I made $30 all in $5 tips. So that's cute, not too bad. And it is currently 9.17. So I got booked to do a buck show on stage, so I whip them and ride them around like a horse. It is super fun and the guys absolutely love it. Oh my god, hi guys. It is currently 12.40 a.m. Um, so, update, I'm so sweaty. I did a stage set, it was really good. So here's all my tips. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75 dollars. Just for that set, because I was doing like, kind of like pop punk, like, Check Yes Julia, like Blink, Blink 182, um, like Green Day, all that kind of stuff. But it was like really entertaining. The crowd was really into it, which was really fun. Um, yeah, so 75 on stage, which I'm really happy with. I'm like shaking, sorry, because I am so tired from that set. So this is what I'm currently, oh, it's not focusing. So I've done a 15, a 10, a 10, an hour, and then a half hour. So the hour and the half hour were with the same guy. He was awesome, he was really friendly, his name was Jack. He like basically was like, I literally am in love with you. And then he tipped me like a fair bit as well. So I think with that 75, I think I'm on 700 and something. So I will keep you guys updated, but really successful night so far. Hello guys, I am on my way home now. It, oh my God, I got the hiccup, sorry. I am having a Red Bull because last night I legit almost died on the way home. I was so tired, so exhausted. Um, my camera was set up before I started driving. I'm gonna not look at it and it is all hands-free, so please don't come for me. Uh, I promise I'm doing everything legally. <laughs> um, so tonight, tonight was really good. Um, much, or not much better, but better than last night. It started off really slow, so I had like one 15 minute booking maybe at about 10 o'clock. Um, and then I had some issues. So I had a lot of issues today because our fantasy rooms were actually closed. So no shower, no bondage, no blue room, which I was really disappointed about because um, obviously that's where the money makers are. So like you make a lot of money in those rooms. Um, so I was kind of disappointed in that because I did have a group of three wanting to take me to a shower. And then I had another two separate guys wanting to take me to the shower as well. So I probably lost like you know five six hundred dollars of bookings just from that which was disappointing um but there's not much we could really do about it because we were quite understaffed so i just had to like hustle for normal dances so that was pretty good uh, it's like pretty consistent pretty consistent everyone was tipping really well on stage which was awesome all the girls were getting tipped really well everyone was super into it um like i showed you guys that last stage set that i did um i made yeah 80 75 80 dollars which was awesome everyone was super into it everyone was singing along um especially to teenagers by my chemical romance i put that on and everyone was having an absolute blast like it was actually a really really fun set and it was just like a bonus that i was getting tipped which was awesome so good money there and then i was really lucky because once i came off stage i had people approaching me for a dance because they liked my stage set they were like i had one guy he was like i just want to lap dance off you because of your choice in music i was like oh my god that's so cute so he booked me i had some girls just come up to me and tip me like 20 bucks just be like because they were like oh my god like we loved you and we loved your stage set and like take this you're a queen and then they just like left i was like that is so nice like everyone was being lovely yeah what else happened um i did a buck show like i showed you guys um the whips and the paddles and stuff that was for the buck show it actually wasn't even a buck if you it was just a couple of mates and they wanted to just like humiliate him on stage so i did that i just like walk him around i sit on him i ride him around with his belt around his neck and i make him drink like his own drink out of a plate i do that whip him a little bit we can't use the um cattle prod anymore it's like a tasery kind of thing because i don't know someone got hurt with it i was like grow up and then some of rosie and i's like regulars came in they were really disappointed because they wanted to book me and rosie in the shower but one rosie wasn't there and two the shower wasn't even open so they were like is this a joke but they tipped me 150 dollars on my stage set which was so nice of them um and then they tipped me another 50 after they took me for a lap dance so so generous so lovely they're always such a like good fun um yeah i had a really really good time with them overall i'm super happy i'm pretty sure i made over a thousand dollars so yeah really good and to be honest from about 2 till 2 45 which is when i left i sat down with um our regulars and just chatted like i wasn't hustling um because there was people in there definitely but i just wasn't hustling because i had <laughs> i had um a booking of an hour and a half with one guy and 
I was just so emotionally spent. He was lovely and we got along really well. He was just like gushing over me. Like it was so sweet, but I really struggled to talk to people for longer than probably half an hour in all honesty. And I was really like emotionally kind of burnt out by that booking plus talking to my regulars, plus bouncing between like stage, lap room, buck show, lap room, regulars. Like it was, I was really, really busy in the last like two, two, two and a half hours. So yeah, I'm super tired. I left, I think I left at like quarter to three maybe. I started at about eight, but I didn't even do a lap dance till about nine because um, the music wasn't working or like whatever. I don't even know what happened, but we were just like, it was like me and a couple of the girls we were just sitting around chatting for like half an hour, which was fun. Um, yeah, so overall I am super happy with tonight and I have a whole bunch of uh, tips on my data, which I will count for you guys in the morning. And then yeah, I'll count up my commission tips. I'll let you guys know how much I made, but I am very, very certain I made over a thousand dollars, which is really good money, especially for March. I'm really proud of myself. I continually hustled. Um, I didn't let, I got grass cut by a couple of girls, which was really disappointing. Um, so that kind of affected me a little bit because it doesn't normally happen at our club. And I was just quite disappointed in like the behavior. Um, it was at the start of the night as well. So that kind of put a damper on it, but I was like, you know what? No, keep going, keep going. You will make money. Um, it's good karma that you just left it, didn't say anything to them. And I just walked away from the situation, um, didn't mention anything to anyone. And I feel like karma, good karma came back to me and that's what it's all about. Um, just, you know, stay in your lane and work hard, hustle, do your own thing and good things will come. Very happy with tonight because I feel like it was, it was a good night. So I'm on my way home now. I'm probably estimated home at 4 a.m. Sorry, I didn't film that much. Uh, again, I was just super, super busy, which was like really good. I'm glad, I'm glad I was busy. I did want to film a little bit more, but can't do it all the time. So I will um, get home now. I will count my money in the morning and I will talk to you guys then. Bye. It is currently 4.02. I'm home and I'm, I need to, I need to pee so badly. I've been needing to pee for about So I just took my tips off my thing. They're looking, oh, wait for it to focus. Thick and juicy. It's not gonna focus, but whatever. Oh, yes. Yes, mamas. She's looking thick. Hopefully there's a few hundred dollars in there. I know there's at least 250, so. And the rest, but holy shit, it has left such a fucked up. I don't know if you can like, oh. My garter is so tight, it really hurts, so it's really fun. I'm really happy with that. Here we go, here's a um, get fun ready with me. I love the cat, the cat fishing is just good. right directly out the back of the club. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't need a security guard. Like, I was like, right, and you open the door and you walk to my car, it's right there. She was like, no, no, never leave without a guard. And I was like, I'm so sorry. She just, so like, she's like, make sure you text me when you get home so you can be mental. And I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> tired i'm literally just lying in bed i got up at eight o'clock and i went to bed at like 4 30 so so stoked about that i have not gone back to sleep yet it's currently 20 past 10 um i had an alarm set for 11 30 because um, i am doing my tattoo consult today 
I'm so excited for it. I will be making another video on the tattoo and like the process, but I thought for now I will count my toots. So actually, um, I worked out, I completely miscalculated my dances again last night. So I had no clue what I'm doing, clearly. So commission last night, I made $645 in commission. So that was just for dances. So not too bad, but I did get like a fuckload of tips. Like, um, like there's easily a couple hundred in here. So I will, let's see if I made over a thousand dollars. So I've sorted it into like how the notes look. So let's do this. 50, 100, 50, 200. So 200 dollars in fifties. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 4, 10, 4, 20, 4, 30, 4, 40, 4, 50, 4, 60, 4, 75. $475 in tips. I'm so happy with that. Um, that's definitely one of my biggest tipping nights um, this year. I think if not the biggest tipping night I've had. Um, I'm just really, really happy with that. I think honestly my stage sets really were it for me last night. Everyone was like, oh my God, like the music like, is so good. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I do no pole tricks. I'm like super lazy in that sense. I do, I like, like floor work and I like interacting with the crowd and stuff. So I think that was perhaps why now let's work out how much i made so i made 645 dollars in commission calculator 645 plus what did i say 475 1120 dollars so i am obviously very happy with that i think that's actually one of my best nights this year if not the best um so i'm yeah super super happy with that so i worked yeah what did i say eight till 245, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, so 7 hours, $1,100, um, I'm going to divide that by like 7, $160 an hour, so I am absolutely stoked with that, I had a really, really fun night, everyone was friendly, I had people just tipping me off the stage because they were like, hey, I love you, take my money, and I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking nice. Um, so for the entire weekend, um, I, so for Saturday, I made a total of $773 and, um, Saturday I made $1,120. So for the entire weekend, I made $1,893. So obviously I'm really happy with that. For two nights, uh, working, like, you know, by myself, um, yeah, probably actually one of my best nights this year. I mean, best weekends this year, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy all my tips from last night and all my tips from I'm just I'm thriving right now like I'm I'm living I'm living my best money life right now so anyway that is the tea on that I've done a wrap-up of last night when I was driving so that's good so yeah super happy um, hopefully next week is good. Uh, Rosie and I are only working next Saturday because we both have commitments on Friday. So we will be doing just the one. Um, our regulars did say they will come in and book us in shower and the blue room and probably bondage as well. So fingers crossed that actually comes through. They, they were devastated that we couldn't have a shower last night. Devastated that Rosie wasn't there. Um, so yeah, hopefully that happens. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming along with me. I'm sorry it was only me this weekend, but we will be back to... Uh, regularly scheduled viewing as of next week so I will talk to you guys in the next vlog